broken or dirty syringe will not operate properly and may cause poor experimental results. Removing the syringe and manually cleaning it, along with careful inspection for any damage, should therefore be performed monthly as part of a good preventive maintenance regime. To perform this procedure on MicroCal ITC200 or Auto ITC200, you will need a syringe brush, a cleaning wire, a mixture of Contrad 70, and deionized water. To remove a syringe, you need to start with the door closed. Then you click the Inspect Pipette button in the System tab of the Auto ITC200 software. This brings the pipette arm around to the front where it's more easily accessible. Now we can open the door. Once the pipette is in position, the first step is to loosen and remove the securing nut, being mindful not to drop it in the cell. You may set this aside. Then we click the Remove Old Tip button in the ITC200 software's Instrument Controls tab. This prompts you to remove the old tip, which we're not doing in this step, but the action of the plunger aids in removal of the syringe glass. You can see that more of the syringe glass is exposed, making it easier to remove the syringe with the soft grip tweezers. And you may set the syringe aside. Be aware that the syringe may be contaminated with hazardous residual substances that have been used in the instrument. Use the appropriate personal protective equipment as specified in the MSDS for those substances. It's good practice to occasionally inspect your titrant syringe for any damage, especially near the fill port. It's also good practice to clean the uppermost portion of your syringe, which may not be adequately cleaned by the instrument itself. To do this, dip your syringe cleaning tool into a mixture of 20% Contrad and gently wash the inner part of your syringe glass. Once this is clean, turn the syringe around and carefully insert the very small diameter wire into the end of your titrant syringe. Slide the wire all the way up the metal paddle and check for any debris that may be trapped in your syringe. Finally, rinse your syringe out as well as possible with water before reinstalling the syringe in your instrument.